Thanks to its hot form steel, low voltage system function. Hazard lights on. Doors unlocked. It's not equipped with a coal. Rescue and extrication rating acceptable. After the crash, all its doors unlocked. But this door opened due to the crash. This is a grave flaw. Its bumper beam and crash box barely absorbed energy. The robust beam bent the truck's rear guard. Due to its limited crumple space, the pillar bore most of the impact, so it ripped and thus intruded into the compartment. Luckily, the B, C, and D pillars are strong enough to sustain deformation and failure. But the open passenger door was really poor. The restraint system and pretensioning seat belts worked fine. The driver is well protected by the airbag. But the severe intrusion caused serious head and neck injury. Poor. The passenger wouldn't make it. Well protected by the restraint system, the driver barely had any injury. Great. Its overall rating in this test is mediocre. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. All vehicles are set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy, second row, two dummies. If there is a third row, to dummies. After the crash, it's low voltage function. Hazard lights on. All doors unlocked and could be opened. Smoke and mild short circuit in the front compartment. Given the drain fuel tank, it's not clear whether combustion arises. This base model also has no recall, so rescue and extrication rating poor. During the crash, its crumple zone worked well. The compartment barely deformed. Door rings remain intact. No plastic hinge on the A, B, and C pillars. Slight structural deformation and intrusion, but the intrusion into the pedal area was severe. Structural rating. Great. For pre-tensioning seat belts deployed, airbags worked. The driver may have minor chest injury. Chest protection, acceptable. Its legs may fracture, acceptable. Fire flash during the deployment of this airbag. So, from restraint system rating, poor. The two rear dummies suffered severe chest compression, which may lead to rib fracture. Acceptable. The rear left one suffered minor head injury. Acceptable. Rear restraint system rating, acceptable. But all the dummies could remain alive. In summary, its overall rating on this test, moderate. 50 miles per hour 70% rear end crash by a 1 point for tons test vehicle. Simulates a secondary high speed rear ending. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained unchanged. According to the US Federal Regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, 
thermal runaway, and structural integrity. As a global model, the Tiguan L fulfills U.S. auto safety standards. Its structure is robust. No fuel leakage. Great. Its strong structure stood out in this test. So structure rating, great but high structural strength means less energy absorption. Its overall rating in this test, great, 